ちょっとそこの君そうそのオレンジ食べてる君はい座ってオレンジ食べるのをやめてくれるかなあと80分経ったらそのオレンジまた食べていいからねでは始まり始まりこれは今日君たちと一緒に映画を見てくれる愉快な宇治虫くんもう少しみんなに見やすいようにこの宇治虫くんを拡大してみましょう彼は愉快な宇治虫くんです Meow's Diary Tuesday. Dear Diary, I have been patiently waiting four to six weeks for my one million dollars worth of underwear to arrive. During this time, I bought a bag of marshmallows, and following my friend String Bean's instructions, I've built a marshmallow robot. But it fell apart, so my friend Joey Jr. came over to play cabbage cribbage with me. Bobble Meows, why are you reading your diary aloud? I wasn't reading it aloud, that was a voiceover. But your mouth was moving. I was recording the voiceover part just now. Anyway, it's your turn. Okay, just don't forget the high stakes we're playing for, Bobble Meows. If you win, you get to buy me a custard donut. If I win, you have to buy me a dozen custard donuts. Shouldn't we play for something else? The last 10 games were for custard Donuts, and now I already have to buy you exactly 130 custard donuts. We're working in baker's dozens, naturally. You'll never eat that many donuts. Try me. Let's just pick something else for this game. All right, Kababi Breath. How about if you win, you have to eat one of your pieces of nincompoop useless junk over there? No way, those are collectibles, they're worth a lot. And besides, why would I want to eat one of those? It would be hysterical. I won't do it. Pick something else. <sighs> Your disinclination exasperates me. Okay, how about if you win, I'll eat something? How about a page from this dictionary here? Fine, just go. It's your turn. There, I win. Again? Well, naturally. I actually know how to play this game. I guess I should just learn how sometime instead of making random moves. Hey, what are you doing? I won, so I'm eating a page from this dictionary. But I thought you only had to do that if I won. So what? I just wanted to eat a page anyway. Don't tan my hide. Yes, this is Bubble Bubble Meows. A mop is going to walk by with the name of the movie? This movie called Bubble Bubble Meows and the Lame O Baby Jib. Why could it not have been called instead Bubble Bubble Meows? Eat some grits, or even Bubble Bubble Meows eats lots and lots and lots and lots and lots and lots of grits. Grits are tasty. And I would like to watch a movie just about them. Maybe if we all wish hard enough, the movie can be about grits. Come and wish with me, wish for a different movie. A movie all about grits. working. K. What? K. K what? Kebapi. Beep beep. I wish you'd get rid of that ridiculous plant. Which ridiculous plant? The one we just walked past. The one that beeped at us. Beep beep. Oh, you mean my beep beep plant. Whatever. I just don't like it beeping like that. It startles me. I've got a weak ticker. This must be it. My million dollars worth of underwear. Excitement hangs in the air like a sandpaper tongue depressor.
I'm so excited. One million dollars worth of underwear. I can't contain myself. This is the most wonderful day of my life. Oh my. Diapers? Giant diapers, to be precise. There must be some mistake. I want underwear, not diapers. Stop me if you've heard this before, but if you're the kind of person who sincerely wants a million dollars worth of underwear, you definitely deserve a humongous box of humongous diapers. There's a packing slip here. Ethiopia. I think that's in Massachusetts. It says here it's a million dollars worth. And there are some instructions. May cause temporary regressive fugue state. That sounds like fun. I wonder what a regressive fugue state is. Let's look it up in the dictionary. Regressive. Regressive. Hey, the page for regressive is missing. That was the page I ate. How about fugue? Hmm. Fugue. Fugue. Hey, that page is missing too. What? They taste good to me. It's just as well. I wouldn't know what to do with giant diapers anyway. You could pet them and call them sweet names. Maybe I can donate them to charity. Hello, operator? Can you connect me with a charity that uses diapers? Who are they connecting you with? The Diapers for Gooey Ducks organization. They better be giant gooey ducks. They better like regressive fugue states, whatever that is. It just means the diapers relax you. Diapers are relaxing. Giant diapers? Humana humana. I just don't know what to say. Humana humana. Well, let's try it out. Well, how do you feel? Scared. Humana humana. Why are you wearing a bed sheet? Because I'm ashamed to be working for a charity that puts diapers on gooey ducks. <sighs> what do we do now, Joey Jr.? Why don't we just have a yard sale? That way, we can unload these giant diapers and all that cheesy, garbagey trash you keep on the shelf. Jeepers, I don't know. Agree to do it, or else I'll eat another page from your precious dictionary. Okay, I agree, I agree. I can't hear you. Stop eating that dictionary. Too good not to eat. I sure hope this works. Do you really think the diapers will sell better if we display them as serving platters? Everybody loves a serving platter. They're like red carpets for food celebrities. Hi. Hi. Who are you? That's Bobble Meows. Bubble Bubble Meows, who are you? I'm a bunny. Big whoop. What unique serving platters. Is that anchovy paste? Nope. They're whole anchovies. Even better than paste. I'll give you a sticky nickel for the whole set. Sold. Not sold. Don't you know the value of valuable serving plates? These things are worth a fortune. All I have is this sticky nickel. What's it sticky with? I don't know. I found it inside my right ear. I don't want it. And I don't want your fancy serving plates either. Will you take the nickel anyway? Okay. Is it actually sticky? Yes. Does it smell? Yes. Me cave woman. Me come to live inside ditch inside your lawn. But I don't have a ditch in my lawn. You now have a ditch in your lawn and a cave woman living inside of it to boot. Me hungry. Jeepers, what now? Me hungry. I think she's hungry. Me hungry. Give food. I guess I could throw some of these eggs down. Just don't waste the anchovies on her. Mmm, more. Me hungry. Don't you touch those anchovies. Yibby yibby. Giant diapers. Are you in the market for giant diapers? You betcha. Sign me up for the giant diapers. Sure as my name is Raul the Rutabaga. Pleased to meet you, Rutabaga. Raul the Rutabaga. Surely you must have heard of me. Are you famous? So you haven't heard of Raul the Rutabaga? Or Raul the Rutabaga's designer reused fashion barn? Or Raul the Rutabaga's designer reused fashion barn outlet center? Is it some kind of camp for portly children? Yibby yibby. Well, I suppose the advantage is mine then. If you are so unaware. These giant diapers. What'll you take for them? At this point, anything. How about this hot dog danish? What the heck? Sold! Yibby yibby. I'll just drag the whole box away right now.
It's a Danish, with a hot dog running through the middle of it. A hot dog Danish. What the heck do we do with a hot dog Danish? Hey, man. Oh, hello, hot dog Danish. You can call me hot dog Danish. I just did. What's your name? That's Bubble Meows. Bubble Bubble Meows. You want to play a fun game? Sure, I like fun games. Okay, now you have to listen real close to my instructions. First, put me down on the lawn. Okay, hot dog Danish. Okay. Okay, hot dog Danish. Now what? Now, take ten steps back. Now, so long, suckers. Joey Jr., was this a fun game for you? Hmm, I'll have to think about that. Now I've seen everything. Me hungry! Schwibbity bibbity dum dum. What am I going to do about this cave woman? You could have fed her a hot dog Danish. Remember the time you had a hot dog Danish? Hot dog Danish, you're back. Are you all right? Hot dog Danish? Oh no. Leave him be. He's a goner. He is? Are you a kitty cat? Are you a squishy sea urchin? I'm Bubble Bubble Meows. Blubber Mouse? Bobble Meows. Plob up Meows? Bubble Bubble Meows. And who are you? Are you a squishy sea urchin? Squishy. 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 That's my name. So you are a sea urchin. I am. Squishy. 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 You look squishy. Squishy. You are squishy. Ow. What's the matter? I hurt my knees. You did? I did. I just fell from the sky, Cupcake. How did that happen? I was going for a ride on a firecracker and I hit something. Must have been this hot dog Danish. Yes, he was floating way up in the air. That's ridiculous. Anyway, ow, my knees. Ow, I hurt my knees. My sides hurt. I've got amnesia. Maybe I can help. Ow. Maybe I can try to... Ow. Maybe... Ow. Doll face, can you spare an aspirin? I have some ribbon candy. Is that like aspirin? Not aspirin. I meant vitamin manunu. Vitamin what? Vitamin manunu. I don't know what that is. It's vitamin manunu. Manunu? No, it's called vitamin manunu. It comes in a tube. It's four feet wide and crinkly. I have some ribbon candy. You just don't get it. Why don't you help me inside and I'll make some calls. I'll make it all happen. It's obvious you're not going to be of much help to me. Okay, but honest, I'm a pretty helpful cat. A fantastic story, Moonbeam. Which is probably mostly made up. Which makes it a fairy tale. Which makes you a bragging, glib, unreliable schlub. I like this squishy. Well, I'll just help you out, and you'll see that I'm not any of those things that you called me. Gentle, Jellybean. My knees. Ow. <laughs> So what's your story, Squishy? Let me tell you my story. I was born in a small town in Spain, and my mother was a goat. 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 A goat? You don't say. What have you got to eat around here, Shoo Shoo? What would you like? Turkey drumsticks. I have some ribbon candy. Sure. So why were you riding on a firecracker? Just looking for a good time. I lost my job at the factory. My pet iguana went to summer camp. My trailer melted. Melted? It was made of pistachio gelato. And your iguana, what's it called? I don't know. You know, I never asked. But you're sad it's gone. I guess I am. I only just remembered. I have amnesia. So you were riding on a firecracker. 
seemed like a good idea. Was it? I can't think of a better idea. Tell us how we can help you. I don't know. I'm just a simple sea urchin. I just want to be happy. What makes you happy? Piñatas. Me too. Well, then let's make a piñata. Really? You do that for me? Sure, Squishy. Maybe it will help you get out of your funk and inspire you to do good things and stuff like that. Thanks, Cinnamon Sticks. And hey, I've got some stuff I can fill the piñata with. Oh, yuck. It better not be sea urchin gunk. Yes, this is Bubble Bubble Meows. You want to know where wild lettuce grows? You want to put it on a map? Paul, this fashion season is just going to be fabulous and lunacy. People will wear the darndest of things. That's why I hired you as my seasonal helper. I love odd jobs. There's nothing odd about it. This is a high-end fashion boutique. We cater to the most sophisticated clientele. We source singular artifacts for adaptive reuse in hot couture and highbrow fashion. So you need my help to resell the junk you buy at yard sales? Not just resell, rebrand, respin, reattractify. You want me to put price stickers on them? Can I use the price sticker gun? You need to find a way to repurpose these giant diapers so that when our wealthy and gullible customers come in here, they'll find themselves just having to own one of these gems. But how do I do that, Raul de Rudabega? Be a creative genius. Or just be creative. Okay, I'll do that. Giant diapers. Giant diapers. Excuse me, do you have any of those tiny plastic belly button rings that everyone's wearing now? What is that? I'm gonna put a price sticker on it. It's the most amazing thing I've ever seen. I like to use the price sticker gun. Nobody else is wearing that yet. I simply must have it. I must be the first. How much? Uh... $50? $100? $200? $1? A dollar? Sold. <laughs> Worth every penny. Paul. I did it, I did it. I rebranded the giant diaper as a high-end fashion item, and we sold them for a dollar? I like to use the price sticker gun. You fool, nothing in fashion sells for only a dollar. You have to mark things up, inflate them past the point of ludicrous ludicrousness. But if the price is too high, no one will buy it. Just the opposite. If the price is too high, people will think it's very, very valuable. And at that point, they'll pay anything for it. Oh. I... I think I get it. I don't think you do at all. You're fired, Paul. Oh no. My big break into the world of fashion. Ruined. Did you just see what I just saw? It looked like an octopus with a giant diaper on its head. I want a giant diaper for my head. And I as well. Excuse me? Is this the shop that sells those delicious giant diaper hats? Yes, it is. Are they very expensive? Yes, very. Oh, goody. That means they're very chic. And designer. And yummy. Yeah, I guess so. They're probably $800. What a steal. What a wicked good steal. Great. Let's all put on our blindfolds. Paper towel tongue. <laughs> Okay, Squishy, you go first. Oh, terrific, Buttercup. <coughs> Did I do it? Did it break? I don't know. I'm wearing a blindfold. My turn. Is there even a pinata in the room? I thought there was. I got it. Ow. What happened? Did I break open the piñata? Did you do it? I don't know. I'm still wearing a blindfold. Try again, Crumpet. Maybe harder. Did I do it? Ow. What happened? Cuckoo buku. Buku ha ha? Money. I love jumping into piles of money. It's a great exfoliate. Joey Jr., don't eat the money. I need to exfoliate my mouth. Squishy, you filled the piñata with money? Money? Oh, is that what it is? I thought they were coupons for granola bars. But where did you get all this money? Beats me, Patootikins. Remember, I've got amnesia. 
Bobble meows. Are we rich? It's Squishy's money, Joey Jr. You can keep it, Doodlebug, as a reward for making me so happy with the pinata. Are you sure, Squishy? It's a lot of money. Money can't buy things. Actually, that's what money can do. Jeepers, what are we going to do with all this money? The experienced and sage would advise us to purchase tiered certificates of deposit and also diversify into aggressive and heavy dividend yielding stocks. Or we could blow it all in a swanky vacation. Did someone say swanky vacation? I would love a swanky vacation. I guess that would be a neat thing to do. Well, Dumpling, I happen to have a world map. Let's just close our eyes and wherever we put our fingers, that's where we'll go. I don't have fingers, but okay. One, two, three. <laughs> Oh, the middle of the ocean. That could be a swanky vacation. I wonder what's there. Salt water and seaweed. Ah, cool. There's more to the middle of the ocean than that. Don't you people know about deserted islands? Archipelagios. I've heard of salt water and seaweed. You need to experience the tropical life. Fresh coconuts, sand castles, volleyball tournaments. Well, I don't like salt water and I don't like seaweed, pooky ears. Let's just go to Puerto Vallarta. They have mango orchards. Let's have a think on it. For now, we've got to feed that cave woman. I plumb forgot. She must be starving. I can't believe you're seriously doing that. But she's hungry. I'm hungry. So eat something. Okay, I just might. Stop that. Let's just go play a hippy-dippy game out on the lawn and get along like good friends. Fine. What is this hippy dippy game called anyway, Whoopsie Whoopsie? It's called Catchel Satchel. Isn't it fun? Not really. We're just tossing around this sad little bean sack. Sad? What's so sad about him? His label says so. And he says so, too. I am sad. No, oh, get over it. I'm gonna bet all my money. And you... I'm gonna pull my head off. Could you please put on something else? Uh, and they're such good dancers. Something nutty happened. And in other news, the latest fashion craze has hit us. And Giant Underwear Hats is the name. Everyone's talking about what everyone is wearing on their heads. Giant Underwear. Giant Underwear. Giant Underwear. Giant Underwear. Giant what? Underwear. Underwear. What a golden opportunity we missed. We could have been richer than brownie mix. Who knew the latest fashion craze would be to wear giant underwear on your head? I don't know who knew sparkles. I have amnesia. Time to feed the cave woman. Nice knowing you, Cake. Nom 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 nom. Oh, look at that avocado. Sure looks stylishy to me. I wish I understood fashion. There's nothing to understand, Binky Boo. It's all about feeling. Feeling conceited? Feeling modern. Feeling confident. 
Goo goo ga ga. Feeling young. Goo goo. Blah. Did that walrus just spit up on himself? With youthful modern confidence. That's weird. Goo goo ga ga. And the way they're talking. All these hip new words. It seems so exclusive. Goo goo ga ga. Yeah. Yeah. I hate seeing a grown raccoon cry. How strange. Everyone wearing those giant diapers is acting similar. You mean to say there's some sort of trend where a group of people dress and talk in a way that differentiates them from everyone else, yet that very differentiation defeats itself and becomes more common? I mean to say that everyone who's wearing a diaper is acting like a baby. A splendid coincidence, isn't it? Goo goo ga ga. Blah. Wah. Wah. Oh man, something new and dim sum dum dum is going on. Is it fashion? This isn't what fashion is about, and I should know. I thought you had amnesia. Fashion sense transcends amnesia. It does? What does? Maybe the giant diapers make everyone feel young again. So young that they act like babies. Bobble meows. Use your head. It's the warning label from the giant diaper box. Regressive fugue state. Remember? Oh yeah. The regressive fugue state. The one that makes everyone comfortable. Not just comfortable, but babies. The giant diapers are making everyone act like babies. Oh no. I really thought I was witnessing the birth of a new movement. What should we do? Obviously, we need to go to Ethiopia to the giant diaper processing plant to get answers. Wait, you weren't even in the scene where we opened the box and read the label. Let's just assume you told me about it sometime between then and now. Excellent workaround. Ethiopia? I guess that's a good idea. I'm just going to take a moment here and point out that the simplest solution would be to take the giant diapers off their heads. Now you, the audience, remember that I said this at the start of the second act of the movie. I just want credit where credit's due. Though for the sake of conflict and drama, I will go along with the story. Now, to get to Ethiopia, I'm assuming you all don't have passports. No matter. I know a sneaky way to get us there. Can you get us to the waterfront? Sure, we could take my new car. Part of your car just fell on me. Yes, it's a fig car. Well, part of it just fell on me. A fig car. Can't we just take a taxi? A taxi not made from foodstuffs? <laughs> Go fish, you go fish. Oh, go eat a ham sandwich. It's a world of babies. It's a baby's world. It's a world of babies. It's a baby's world. Baby potatoes. Baby sunglasses. Snoopy, that's my friend Snoopy. Hi, Bubbly Meows.
Hey everybody, here I am, a tertiary character. But I got a lot of character, so you better enjoy my character. Because this is my only scene until Bubble Bubble Meows Part 3. Business sure is slow today. Maybe if we didn't have such a charmingly misspelled sign, we could actually get some business. Oh, good. Here comes some business now. Don't mention the cashew epidemic on the boat. It might freak them out a little. Do you mean all those creepy and strange cashews all over the boat? Yes, I'm talking about the strange and creepy cashews all over the boat. The cashew epidemic? What else would I be talking about? Gotcha. Boat rides. Get your red hot boat rides here. No cashew epidemic in sight. <sighs> Some bananas can't be trained. We'd like a boat ride, please. Sure thing. Where would you like to travel? The Federal Democratic Republic of Ethiopia. That's a beautiful choice. My favorite place to visit by boat, even though it's landlocked. Please proceed to the boat. Just as long as you aren't terrified senseless by a naturally large, two-legged, autonomous, scary, salted seeds. I don't think we are. Then all aboard. And you might consider taking this air freshener, which happens to resemble phagalicide. It smells like fresh peaches. Why, thank you. I like boats. How many cans of cashew spray do we have left? 300 or so. Only 300? I hope it'll be enough. I wonder how long it will take us to get there. At least an hour. Ugh, I feel seasick already. Come and join me and Squishy at the lunch buffet. You've got to be joking. The last thing I want is an all-you-can-barf opportunity. This just isn't my scene. Suit yourself. I like boats. Got to do something to keep my mind off this rocking boat. Hmm, maybe I can fix the robot Bobble Meows tried to build. That would be a nice gesture of goodwill and camaraderie from me to him. Hmm, nothing like a failed experiment to tell you what a total nincompoop you are. I can't fix this. It's unfixable. But maybe I can do something that is mean-spirited, disrespectful, and clever. And a piece of resistance? That is one handsome robot. Don't get cocky, mister. Oh, go coin a phrase, cat piano. Cat piano? Hmm, pretty snarky. It looks like you might just be a pretty funny prank to play on Bobble Meows. I'll wait for the right moment, then replace me with you and watch the hilarity ensue. How is that hilarity, cat piano? It just is a classic switcheroo. A who's on first razzle-dazzle shell game. Is that a fact, cat piano? Eh, the cat piano bit's getting kind of old. You might want to mix up your routine a little. Not a very big spread, is it? Buffets are all about quality, mon trezor. Why, it's a pea buffet. Ooh, I like pea. You like pea? Yes. One P. One P? Yes. I met a P once whose name was Beauregard. It means pastrami sandwich in Latin. Oh. Come to think of it, Beauregard wasn't a P at all. He was a blob of glucose that appeared under the railing of a banister. Is that so? I guess so, but I can't recall with my amnesia. Well, I hope you like to eat peas because that's all there is. There's more than that. There should be some pea juice underneath all the peas. Anyway, I'm starving. So right now, I love to eat peas. So do I, except they do smell kind of funny. Kind of like clay and pet stores and bird's nests. Why are peas like that? I know why. I know why. I studied this in school. Four whole years studying this exact thing. Just so I could explain it to you at this moment. A pea is a spherical seed, and very wrinkly, like the morning's bed sheets. A pea isn't smooth like a beet. It isn't smooth like a parakeet. It isn't smooth like bare feet. Peas are the way they are, because my mother told me so. My mother told me so. My mother told me so, and... My mother was a goat. 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 
My mother was a goat. My mother was a goat. My mother was a goat. Oh, so that's why peas are the way they are. Rubbish. What a waste of time. Nobody wants any peas. Maybe we should diversify. You know, try offering something else. In addition to peas. Whatever for. What else would people want besides peas? And the pea juice that's underneath. Cocktail wieners. Cocktail wieners? Are you nuts? Do you have any idea what those things are made of? Ground up bigger wieners? Well, okay, probably. But what are the bigger wieners made from? Even bigger wieners. And what are they made from? What are the ingredients? Good stuff. Sunflower seeds. Tempeh. Quinoa. Quinoa? Oh, brother. Have you ever seen that documentary about sausage production? The one with the dog? The one with the dog? The dog that goes for help when the little boy falls down the well? I think that's a different movie. But the well is actually a sausage maker? And the little boy, well, he... Gets turned into sausage? No, the dog comes back and pulls him out just in time. Ugh, thank goodness. But then the dog falls into the sausage maker. And then gets turned into a sausage? No, then a sausage appears and pulls the dog to safety. But then... Oh no. Then the sausage gets pulled into the sausage machine and gets turned into a sausage. The sausage gets turned into a sausage? The sausage gets turned into a sausage. Ugh, that's disgusting. But he has googly eyes and a bubbly personality. Even he's able to use rudimentary math skills and assist people with their taxes. Oh, stop it. And he puts on a hot dog bun costume, which is kind of silly, isn't it? And eventually wins first place at some swim meet and gets his team in the Olympics and eventually lands a recording contract and becomes a dysfunctional country western star. Stop it. You're making all this up. I saw it on the news. The little boy was there cheering on with his dog for the sausage who became a sausage and who had on the hot dog bun costume. There were cheerleaders and everything. Anyway, we're not going to diversify into cocktail wieners. Well, do you have a better idea? Yes, I do. What about tiny fruit pie? Super tiny fruit pies, the size of a penny. Tiny fruit pies? Tiny fruit pies. Hey, I like that. Tiny fruit pies. And you know what we put in them? Cocktail wieners? Beef. Beef? Fruit pies with beef? Fruit pies with beef. Hmm. Fruit pies with beef. Tiny fruit pies with beef. The size of a penny. Fantastic idea. Fruit, fruit pies, pies with, with beef. Fruit pies with beef? Mmm, that sounds good. A fruit pie with beef. A fruit pie with beef? Okay, now repeat after me. Your kebabie is so fat. Your kebabie is so very fat. Excellent. You are halfway to becoming a comic genius. What? What is it? Are you trying to tell me something? Are we doing charades? Do you want me to pull your finger? Behind you, cat piano! What? Oh, this is your idea of a joke? No, no, no. You've got it all wrong. First, you make me turn around. Then when I turn back around, you need a pie or something to shove in my face. Giant cashew! Cat piano. Or a giant cashew. That would work just as well. But the classic format is pie. You cat piano, look up! Oh, hello. Hello. Oh, man. <laughs> Quick, hide in here, Cat Piano. There's only room for one of us, Kebabi Breath. I'll find some place else to hide, Cat Piano. What a nice replica robot he is. Of course there are more giant cashews in there. And with cans of whipped cream. Blast! It's shaving cream, not whipped cream. I should have seen that gag coming a mile away. I don't mind that the buffet is limited. And I don't mind that there are only peas to eat. But do they have to be frozen peas? Oh, totally, Dimples. They're much easier to eat. Watch. Oh, 
but they're so cold, they're frozen in my mouth. Joey Jr., are you hungry for peas? No, thanks. I just think I'll hang out here with you guys. I happen to prefer your company to that of giant cashews. That's nice of you to say. Are there giant cashews on this boat? Yes. Yes, there are. Ah, but we've got this can of cashew spray here. But they have cans of shaving cream. Don't come any closer, giant cashews. We've got this spray. Take that. It smells like fresh peaches. Ah, chew. Gesundheit. Oh no, those giant cashews have balloons. That's a bad thing. I'm feeling tired. I'm going back to the cabin. Also, I am tired. Me also. This is pretty comfy once you get used to it. Better than the top of the bed. I like boats. Boats are fun. Hooray for boats. <laughs> Fresh air. We spent five days underneath that bed. Five days smelling your stinky feet. At least those cashews didn't come back, Sea Star. I think Bobble Meow's feet emit natural anti-cashew vapors. Well, of course I'm going to smell. All I've had to eat all week are peas. I like how you blame teeny tiny vegetables. It's a unique style. It sure is hot here. It's so hot even the soft pretzels are melted. Before you ask, yes, I am a fish lice. What's a fish lice? Oh, about three pounds. Huh? About three pounds? Oh, no, wait. That's what a hen weighs. What's a fish lice weigh? Shame on you for asking. Nonetheless, I wish to offer you my services as translator and guide. Where would you like to go? The hubcap mausoleum? The onion ring barrio? The piñata memorial? Piñata memorial? Hot diggity. Can you take us to the giant diaper plant? Oh, you're not one of those diaper conservationists, are you? No, I don't think so. What's a diaper conservationist? Someone who saves diapers? No, little marshmallow. I'm a robot, not a marshmallow. Diaper conservationists are extreme sports enthusiasts who refuse to believe that diapers are necessary. But that's silly. Lots of people need diapers. I mean... Babies. The elderly. The accident prone. Well, because the diaper conservationists are extreme sports enthusiasts, they've developed a bloated sense of confidence, so much so that they believe they have achieved TBC. TBC? Total bladder control. They can last a whole year before going potty. I mean, check it out. Imagine that. Naturally, the giant diaper plant owner is very wary about people who don't like diapers. You have nothing to worry about. We love diapers. Love them. I'm not against them, per se. Oh, what the hey. I'll just take your word for it. Everybody hop on my back and I'll take you there. Oh my. Ugh, what smells? The cat. His feet smell like peas. Yucko. Said the fish lice. Hold on tight. You can fly. Sure can. I'll get you there, no hassles at all. It'll sure save us the hassle of having to animate anything between here and the giant diaper plant. Look,ここがその場面です。アニメーションになるはずでなかった場面です。でもみんなのためにアニメーションになりました。言ってみればみんなのために特別に入れてもらった。ボーナスシーンなのです。このボーナスシーンがなかったら、この映画は50分で終わってしまうでしょう。The the sun is killing me. What do you think this thing is on me? A mall? A sunspot? Relax. It's just a beauty mark. Ironic, ain't it? It's not a mole. It's probably a shellfish parasite that jumped from me to you. You're carrying parasites? Not anymore. It sure is quiet around here. Diapers are generally quiet. They're nature's mufflers. Hi, I'm S2004N1. I'm in charge of this giant diaper plant and will lead you on your tour. Here's a souvenir. What's that, little lentil? It's a cardboard sign that says Martha smells. What does this have to do with giant diapers? Nothing at all. I made it.
It's folk art. You look familiar to me. Hmm. Do you ever go square dancing? Not a lot. Maybe we met at a square dance-a-thon. I don't really go square dancing. I think I sang about you once. Maybe that's why you look so familiar to me. I look familiar to you? I thought that I said you look familiar to me. I do? Have we danced before? At the square dance-a-thon? Probably not. I have no idea who you are. I'm Bubble Bubble Meows. Great. We're hoping to get some answers about... Giant diapers. I'll answer any questions you have, except those pertaining to giant diapers. Why are you so round? Yes. I'll take a question from the sea urchin. Yes. Hello. Why are you so round, Bunt Cake? Is this a question about giant diapers? Can I kick this kebabi? Yes. No kicking or hitting in the plant. It is rule number one. Why are you so round? Great question. I am the planet Neptune's smallest moon. You're a moon? I am a moon. Managing this giant diaper plant was just a silly little dream I had. I thought no one in space would notice if I just left the outer solar system and came here to study macroeconomics and diaper mechanics. And now look at me. Well, look at me. Why are you so round? Why are your giant diapers causing everyone who wears them on their heads to talk and act like babies? Oh no, are you an extreme sports enthusiast? No, I'm Bubble Bubble Meows. You look familiar to me. I go square dancing all the time and I've never seen either of you. We're not diaper conservationists, we just want answers. Everyone back home has turned into big babies because they've been wearing the giant diapers on their heads. Why are they wearing them on their heads? It's fashion. So now they're all speaking in some kind of lame baby jib? Exactly. Just like all the workers in my plants. So that's why it's so quiet around here. Your workers turned into big babies too? They did, and I just don't know why. So there's nothing you can do to help us? I could give you a bay leaf. Did you get detention a lot when you were homeschooled? So yes on the bay leaf? That would be amazing. But not today. We have to get back home and solve this strange problem of everyone wearing giant diapers and acting like babies. Suit yourself. But I'll bet if you just wait it out a few days, everyone will turn back to normal. That's what I did. And things worked out? Thank you for your questions. I hope you enjoyed the tour. I'm out of here. So many floating characters. What's the plan now? Back to the boat. Back to home. We're giving up so easily? Bobble Meows doesn't know the meaning of the words give up, because I ate those dictionary pages as well. You like eating book pages too? That's my favorite extreme sport. It's not that extreme, is it? Extreme sport? Does that mean you're an extreme sports enthusiast? I am. And does that mean you're a diaper conservationist? It does. Does that mean you're going to knock the giant diaper plant over? It does. Diaper conservationists rejoice. The threat of giant diapers is about to be no more. Oh, cuckoo buku. How unexpected. I was going to say that. This trip is a bust. Let's bail. We should have just spent the day eating peas at the buffet. Squishy, you smell. You smell like... Peas. Oh, goody. Nothing like smelling like peas. You're a pea-smelling kebab pea. As long as I keep eating peas, my feet will smell, and the cashews will leave us alone. That's squishy, though. He doesn't need to keep eating peas, but he keeps eating peas. All the peas he can muster. I can't believe he ate them all. I can't believe he ate all those peas. I can't believe it. I ate all those peas. This is very exciting and all, but I'm going back to the room to finish whistling my song. What song? My whistling song. That's not much of a song. Squishy, we've got to get you cleaned up. Wait, wait. I just want one more helping. One more helping of peas. But you're practically incapacitated from eating peas. I know, but it's a buffet. We've got to make the most of it. Oh, look who's running my way. It's that replica robot. He must have missed me. Who wouldn't miss me? I miss me. Cat piano! Look out! Huh? Oh, criminy. <laughs> Oh, robot.
got overboard! Although I am miffed to have been cast adrift on an expansive and treacherous ocean, I no longer have to endure giant cashews, bobble meows, stinky feet, or a buffet consisting only of peas. Oh. Oh. Sea urchins should never be allowed to eat a buffet of peas. Hey, Joey Jr., can you help me take care of Squishy? Oh, this must be the part where I pretend to be Joey Jr. Why, sure, I can help Cat Piano. Cat Piano? Uh, thanks. Say, your arms look... different. Yeah, I had an accident while putting on some deodorant. Joey Jr., I'm sorry I didn't like your whistling song. It was just unlistenable. You're a very good dancer, though, and you have a nice chin. Hey, no problemo, Cat Piano. You're still my friend. Why, oh, I was expecting a more sullen and moody reaction. You're always full of vitriol, but thanks. Thanks a lot. <coughs> Your kebabie is so very fat. What about my kebabie? Uh, your kebabie is somewhat big-boned. I don't have a kebabie. Uh, I don't know the rest. The rest of what? I can watch over the sea urchin if you have some sort of hobby or personal interest that you would like to participate in right now, cat piano. Cat piano? Uh, sure. I'll go practice my triangle. Joey Jr. sure got nice all of a sudden. Must be some kind of reverse cabin fever. When is Joey Jr. coming back? And why does everyone smell like peas? <sighs> hope springs eternal leaks. I hope I never see another pea buffet as long as I live. I will say, though, it was kind of nice not hearing barbed retorts from you. Your kebabie has such glandular issues. What? Oh, just forget it, Cat Piano. Where did Joey Jr. disappear to? Mail for you. Me accidentally open birthday card. And birthday gift. Wooden rocking horse. Me break it accidentally. Oh. Me hungry. Okay, okay. I'll be right back with something. Goo goo. Gaga. <laughs> Oh, no. Whoa, what's that? Come on, Martha Stinks, we can make it. Well, any suggestions on how we can get everyone to stop talking like babies? Mass spankings. Joey Jr., what about you? Uh... I... Uh, you want a suggestion from me, Cat Piano? Sure, you're always full of good ideas. Uh, I... Uh, how about... Go to the source of the problem. I guess we can try and talk Raul the Rutabaga from selling any more giant diapers. That might work. Great idea, Joey Jr. Uh, yeah, I know. I've got shore leave. Who wants to Watusi? Hopefully this is Majorca and not Papua New Guinea. Who dares invade our graham cracker island? I'm a wet cardboard salesman. Would you like to buy some wet cardboard? Oh, tee hee hee. What a witty retort. <laughs> you must be some highbrow comic whom fate has decided to cast upon us. I am the chief of the graham cracker tribe. You will be my jester and entertain my tribe. So, no sale? Oh, tee hee hee. Oh, tee hee 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 Witty, silly, slapstick farce. A graham cracker's dream. Come out, my friends. Wow, you guys are all crackers. We're all crackers. Let me explain. Oh, no you don't. I prefer this song to make fun of you than to detail the history of how you came to this island and what your significance is. Well, now just look at you. You guys are crackers. You got crackers on the yield sign. You got crackers on the sand. You got crackers on the shin. You got crackers on the baby crackers ball, baby cracker twine. Man, you're on the beach and no one's wearing flip flops. No one here has a surfboard. No one here has a beach ball. No one here has sunscreen or a cooler or big towels. Are you afraid of the beach? Are you afraid that people might see you? 
and assume that living on an island means that you are beach bums. What's wrong with beach bums? What's wrong with longboarding, volleyball, or capri pants? You should embrace it. Embrace your inner loafer. Most people would give an arm to throw a frisbee here. Unless they had a frisbee phobia. What a unique and insightful perspective you've shared with us. I do believe we will change our way of domesticating animals and cultivating the more fertile parts of our island, and instead just party on the beach. That's the ticket. Okay, gang, remember the plan. I'll ask nicely for the rutabaga to stop selling giant diapers. And I'll look sweet and handsome. And Joey Jr.? Maybe it's best for you to keep quiet. We'll have a better chance of success if we don't offend anyone. Hmm. Okay, now let's get the utmost necessities taken care of. First, you need a cooler. Anyone? A cooler. Cooler. We don't know what that is. You don't? What? A cooler. Anyone living on the beach needs a cooler. Is it something made of foam? Bingo bongo. Cooler? No, no, no. That's a cup. 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 A cooler is going to have to be bigger than that. You know what? Never mind this. Tell me what you do have and we'll make it work. We have sand and crackers. Sand and crackers. Yeah, okay. Can you slap the two together and fill them with ice? Will these reusable cold packs work? Yes, I think they will. And then what do we do? Then we fill up the cooler with refreshing beverages. Ah and personal-sized cups of fruit salad. Oh. And frozen treats. Frozen what? Frozen treats. You know, fudge bars, pops, ice cream sandwiches. But we don't have any. I don't care what you don't have. Just make it happen. Figure it out. Okay. And let's get some music in here. You got any musicians? We have a Royal Graham Cracker Barbershop Quartet. Meh. Give them all some marimbas and tell them to start practicing. Marambas? Figure it out. And get a kettle drum while you're at it. Okay. Anything else? Yeah. As a matter of fact, you know how to make a piñata? Paul, what are you doing here? I'm branch manager now. Paul is my top salesman. Congratulations, Paul. What is that marshmallow thing? Is it a handbag? It's my friend, Joey Jr. Hi there, cat piano. Raul, the rutabaga. Raul the rutabaga, are you aware that the giant diapers you're selling have caused anyone who wears one to turn into a baby? First of all, they're fashionable headwear. They're not giant diapers. Not giant diapers? Sure they are. Don't you remember buying them for me? They are not giant diapers. But they are. Look at me. Okay, now that that's settled, get out of my shop. But you have to stop selling these things. Why should I? I'm making a killing. But if everyone turns into a baby, then what? I don't know. Then what? Well, babies don't buy things. So if everyone's a baby, you won't be able to make any more money, Winky Chin. What a silly argument. Of course babies buy things. Hello? Baby clothes? Baby toys? Who do you think buys that stuff? Why are you so paranoid about this fabulous fashion accessory that I've dared to promote exclusively on the cutting edge? An edge so cutting you'd need an adhesive bandage and a little bit of antibacterial ointment. You're just jealous that I'm going to become a gazillionaire from selling this junk. Here, watch me wear this fashionable headpiece. Watch me and weep. Is it okay if I don't weep? You're just a bunch of sour grapes with sour grape frowny frowns. Frowny frowns with soury grapey faces. You're just a bunch of babies. Goo goo, ga ga. He's starting to hurt my feelings after all. <laughs> Why did he have to do that? Goo goo, ga ga. He's not usually this childish. Ga ga. <laughs> Oh no, Raul the rutabaga has turned into a baby. This makes me feel better. I feel better too, but it's just one more baby added to the problem. I will take this opportunity to go all commando on you. What are you doing? Taking control of the situation. First step is to close the shop by force. But how? I have a plan, Minty Bucket. I don't think we'll find much resistance. I won't resist. I'm here to help. Goo goo.
Thank you for showing us all how to take advantage of beach life. Remember, there is only one right way to live. Are you ready to head out, little flower? Call me Lippy. Onward, Martha Smells. Toodaloo. Safe sailing. Don't get wet. Ah, this sure is nice. Joey Jr.? Yes, Lippy? Why did we leave the island? I... Hmm... I... It's okay, you can say it. I miss my friends, okay? Aw, oh, you're a softy. Actually, you know what? We had it pretty good on that island. Why the heck did we leave? It's okay to be a softy. <laughs> Han it, kebapi nose. It's pronounced chevapi. I could have stayed on that beach for the rest of my natural life and sipped pina coladas at sunset. But I am determined to help Bobble the Owls stop everyone from wearing giant diapers on their heads and acting like babies. Sounds sweet, but now that I'm no longer part of island life, I'm feeling somewhat disenfranchised. Disen what? Disenfranchised. Dishing French dressing? This and franchised. What does that mean? It means not franchised. <laughs> you have no idea what it means, you low IQ kebapi. I'm in Mensa, and I have a postdoc in hematology. Chevapi. Ah, can it with a highfalutin sullen act. You're a tiny little flower. You're supposed to be dandy. But that will make me a shallow character. Oh, that's deep. Deep? You get it? Deep? Deep. How was that a joke? You know what? I'm not such a bad guy. I care about my fellow man. I'm sympathetic as well as helpfully hypercritical. I'm a kind of renaissance man. You like to go to those reenactment festivals? Ick, no. I go, from time to time. I've made a lot of friends there over the years. Yeah, you won't catch me fantasizing about the plague, or wiping my chicken grease hands on the back of a dog. You should try it. It's very liberating. My kind of dream is way more classy than that, because I'm a class act, you know? A class act. Thank you very much, thank you very much, you Jeremy Kebapis. This next number we threw together while touring a tent sail deep in the jungles of Siberia. It's about a girl who has no ankles. Down by the shores of Lake Titicaca, I met a girl named Kooby Dooby Chop Chop. She had no ankles. Thank you very much, thank you very much, you filthy little kebapis. Wow, what a crummy dream. Huh? How, how did you get in my dream? I'm a sneaky devil. You're a sneaky devil? I told you, I'm in Mensa. I can do things. Powerful things. Stay out of my head, flower. I can't help it. Your dream was so... Um... Interesting. Trespassing kebabby. Boy, if this whole shebang turns out just to be a dream, I'll be mighty disappointed. Metaphysical kebabby. Metaphysical, eh? You're the one singing about ankleless ladies. Kooby dooby chab chab. Oh, you're just jealous because no one asked you to come on stage for a duet. I didn't even get to audition. Kooby dooby chab chab. Cut that out. Kooby dooby chab chab. Well, that was a quick oceanic excursion. Civilization. It's still a trade down from island life. You haven't lived until you've seen the big city. My eye. I did four years of residency at Brandeis. You think I'm green, don't you? Squishy, how much more cutting do we have to do? All of it. We're going to cut up all the diapers if it takes us all night. Glossy finish. Will I get overtime? We better get some dinner then. Fine. Call for a pizza or something. Just make sure you keep cutting these things into the tiniest pieces you can. Fabric softener. Okay, I'm just going to call for a pizza first. Pizza? What? I can't be delivered to you. Toppings? You've got the wrong number. I apologize, but I have to hang up. Maybe we should call for Mongolian barbecue. Okay, dump truck. Don't break down again. Truck, truck, truck! You sure you want to hitch in a dump truck? Shh. Not very classy. Are you headed to civilization? Yup. 
Can I hitch a ride? I don't know. It's against regulations. I can make myself useful. You know how to fix dump trucks? Fix trucks? When this guy sings, trucks fix themselves. Cooby dooby chop. Shush. Um, yes, sure. I know how to fix ankles. I mean, fix trucks. All right, hop in. Thanks. I hope nothing happens to this truck. I don't know anything about fixing trucks. I'm staying out of this, but I'll enjoy watching you fall smack on your face. <laughs> Oh man, looks like ants again for dinner. This is pretty good stuff, Tidbits. How come you're only eating peas? I, uh, peas are good for you. Joey Jr., you sure are quiet. Five more hours and we'll be finished cutting up all these diapers. And then what? I can't believe you haven't figured it out yet, Chicken Bok. It's so obvious. All the cut up diapers. They're going to be stuffing for piñatas. Piñatas? Yes, it's brilliant. I know, Ramekin. It's a good idea, but Squishy, we don't want to make anything else. We're tired and just want to go home. But this is so exciting. I feel like I'm contributing to society. My mind is racing with ideas of other ways to turn harmful things into good and useful things. Okay, like what? I can make mouthwash from scrap metal. I can make a hearing aid from a scarf. I can make a wheelchair from a pretzel. I can make a bandage from cat barf. I can do all this. And I can do all that. I can do all this because my mother was a goat. 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 Okay, okay, we get it, we get it. Was his mother really a goat? Yep, this sure beats sunsets and swimming with dolphins. Cooby dooby chop chop. All right, we're to the bonus round now. Let's see whether or not you're a muffin. <laughs> okay, the question is, what is donut plus donut? <laughs> donut plus donut. Audience, shall we help them out? No. And that's time. Looks like you are, after all, a bona fide muffin. Ha ha. Muffin. What do they expect? He's a muffin. Ha ha. Pizza. Hey, can you come over? Nah, man. I'm tired. Come on. I need a pizza over here on the double. <laughs> I'm telling you, I'm pooped. I've been driving all day without any bathroom breaks. Are you watching TV? Yes. What you watching? Muffin. Should I come over and watch it with you? I got separate rooms for a reason. I need to get some shut-eye. Finally done. Just look at these suckers. Things of beauty. Now what? Let's put them on display and cross our fingers that this works. Lizard slippers. It's that darn bean sack again. Maybe you should just pick them up. Yay, pizza! Pizza, yay! All right, all right, hop in. Yay! Oops. Oh, no. Not again. Good thing I picked you up, Joey Jr. Really? Why? You said you could fix trucks, didn't you? Oh, yep. Sure did. Oh, boy. This is gonna be classic. Don't do it. Do what? Sing that annoying song. I wouldn't dare. <laughs> When in doubt, try everything. Moment of truth time. Here goes nothing. Wait, wait. What is it, Paul? We need to price those piñatas. $999? Sure, it's an old merchandising trick. 
one dollar short of a bigger number makes it seem like a steal. Our time and labor are worth way more than that, instant mashed potatoes. Oh, Squishy, let's just focus on the emergency at hand. Goo goo ga ga. All right, get your piñatas. Get your red hot, fashionable, overpriced piñatas. Wow, I can't believe people are actually buying these things. I wonder what promotion comes after branch manager. You almost done there, Joey Jr.? Uh, yep. Just one more second. Maybe this'll do it. Nothing can save you now, but they use sex machina. Oh dear, what did I do? No way. No way. Behold the power of Kooby Dooby Chob Chob. Kooby Dooby Chob Chob. All right, wicked good job. All I had to do was plug in that one thing that was unplugged. Engine repair is so easy. Mechanics are a scam. Don't take skilled labor for granted. Squishy, you did it. The piñatas are almost all sold out. We no longer have the looming threat of giant diapers. Goo goo ga ga. Goo goo. Except that everyone is still acting like babies. I'm a pizza in a dump truck. I'm a pizza in a dump truck. You're a pizza in a dump truck. I'm a pizza in a dump truck. I'm a pizza in a dump truck. You're a pizza in a dump truck. I'm a pizza in a dump truck. I'm a pizza in a dump truck. You're a pizza in a dump truck. You're a pizza. Civilization and my friends. Cat piano. Jeepers. That robot looks and sounds just like Joey Jr., but he's too chipper to be Joey Jr. Chipper? You kitty litter covered kabapi. You can't tell the difference between me and a ramshackle facsimile that I crudely threw together. Look at the glasses. See how sloppily drawn on they are? Ramshackle? Aww. Bean sack, you're back. <sighs> oh, it's you. Hey, man. Floating characters. Take me out of this dead-end scene. Me too, Cat Piano. I want out too. <coughs> ah. Falling characters. Ding nabbit. Which Joey Jr. is the real Joey Jr.? Who cares? Come on. If you can't tell the difference, then you're a banana-shaped kabapi. I think I preferred the crudely drawn Joey Jr. Crudely drawn? Ah. Oh. It's settled then. Paul, disassemble this replica robot and sell the scrap pieces in the Rutabaga's shop. Joey Jr., where have you been this whole time? Oh, you know, riding the rails. What's going on with a giant diaper situation? Well, Squishy thought of this brilliant idea of turning all the unsold giant diapers into piñatas. And it worked, and there are no more leftover diapers. But everyone still has giant diapers on their heads and they're talking like babies? Yeah, I guess so. But the piñata idea, it was pretty great. Yup, a real humdinger. Did I now reveal that all we have to do is remove the diapers from everyone's heads in order to get them to stop acting like babies? Hello? Audience? Should I do it or not? We can't hear the audience. Movies don't work like that. Shh. I'm playing with the very fabric of cinema. Buku, buku. Sounds like it's going to rain. That was an acutely short rainstorm. Crumbling kebabies. Look at the giant diapers. They're melting. They must be biodegradable giant diapers. I guess I forgot to mention that. I wish we had known that sooner. We could have taken the giant diapers off everyone's heads and squirted them with squirt guns. Or just have taken the diapers off their heads. Ugh, the level of leaky-headed kebabiness. It's legendary. As legendary as trading life on a tropical island for a ride in a dump truck. How funny. It looks just like a giant piñata exploded all over town. Except they're wet bits of diaper. Also funny. Whoa, what happened? Raul the rutabaga is cured of baby talking. Yibby yibby. Baby talking? Was I baby talking? Yes, but luckily it rained and melted all the diapers. Oh no, my giant diapers! But while you were under the spell of the giant diaper, we made piñatas out of all the remaining diapers. And we sold them for an 8,740% markup. That's the kind of news I like to hear. Paul, you're promoted to senior branch manager. Senior? Does that make me old? Yup. Come on, little replica robot. 
I'll teach you how to be an ace salesperson. Oh, joy of joys. I've always had a keen interest in retail. We should have a parade finale. A parade with a sing-along. No, that's the worst kind of finale. Just cut to black. Cooby dooby. Marching isn't just for talentless weirdos. We can do it too. We don't need tall hats that look like square hairdos. We can march in uncomfortable outfits all day too. We can march down the street to the beat of our feet. Except there's also the beat of the bass drum. The people we see, they yell and they wave. They wave for the cops to detain us. Marching isn't just for talentless weirdos. We can do it too. Watch us march to the beat of the cymbals. People will stare and think that we're simple. But we just smile and show off our dimples and march all day long to our tireless jingles. I don't have a horn, but I have a spit valve. I don't have a spit valve, but I have some spit. Marching isn't just for talentless weirdos. We can do it too. Marching isn't just for talentless weirdos. Unless, of course, we're talentless weirdos. And if that's the case, that we're talentless weirdos, then yes, we can do it too. And me too. I can too. And my mother was a goat. Totally insane bonkers world. What a finale. Me hungry. You people are talentless weirdos. But we're not. We just did a march. Case closed. Oh, delightful maggot. こうしてバブルバブルミャオズはみんなを赤ちゃん言葉で話させる巨大なおむつから街を救ったのでしたそして愉快なおじむしくんは警部ウーマンのお腹の中から君のためだけに歌を歌ってくれますうまぬうま
Muffin. Muffin? Cat piano. I'm not a muffin. I'm not a muffin. I'm not. I'm not a muffin. I'm not a muffin. I'm not. Oh, it was just a dream, wasn't it? But it seemed so real. And you were there. And you were there. And you were there. And you were there, too. Muffin. Why are you all here now? It's creepy, isn't it? Us watching you sleep. Get out of my room. It's only a dream. Is it? Nope. Get out of my room. Oh, she might. <laughs>